Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, yo, it's different with me. I got different thoughts. <laughs> the scripture comes from Jeremiah 15 and 15. Lord, you understand. Remember me and care for me. Avenge me on my persecutors. You are long suffering. Do not take me away. Think of how I suffer reproach for your sake when your words came i ate them they were my joy and my heart's delight for i bear your name lord almighty i never sat in the company of revelers never made me mar marry with them i sat alone because your hand was on me and you had filled me with indignation why is my pain unending and my wound grievous and incurable you are to me like a deceptive brook like a spring that falls that fails Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you, that you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. I will make you a wall, a wall to this people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue you and save you, declares the Lord. I will save you from the hands of the wicked and deliver you from the grasp of the cruel. So this is a message. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, this is for somebody that got a gang of crazy um, people that you used to just mess around with chasing after you. Okay, God is saying if you repent. If you repent, if you repent, if you repent, if you repent, regardless if you're still dealing with it or not, um, I picture this as being like, <laughs> but the things that God is telling me, this is like a situation for somebody, for somebody, you was a player. And you got caught slipping, you got caught slipping, you got caught slipping, you got caught slipping, regardless if you ended up, um, at some kind of uh some kind of club or something like that and you was with one girl and another girl was there and then there's another girl there and they all found out about each other and now they chasing after you or if it's a situation <laughs> so where um yeah like whatever it is y'all is kind of you caught up 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 and God is saying, you praying to God because they, they, they on your head, they on your head, they on your head, they mad, 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 big mad. Okay, this is a, <laughs> they big mad because you have gotten caught up. And God is basically saying, um, <laughs> God is basically saying, if you repent of your sins, if you repent of your sins, you will not have to worry about what they are doing, what they try to do, what they think they're going to do, how they plan on doing it. You won't have to worry about none of that. But you have to repent. God says, if you repent, I will restore you. Then you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. So God is saying not only... Not only does he want you to repent, I'm being reminded, I was watching King of the Hill the other night, and um, this man that Peggy had wrote an article about got upset about it and got her fired. Then he turned around and gave her a job. God is saying, okay, first of all, repent. And don't just repent any kind of way. He wants you to repent genuinely, wholeheartedly. And if you say what he wants you to, the way he wants you to, and you mean it with all your heart, say it with your chest, okay? God said not only will he restore you, but he going to give you a job. He will make you a spokesperson. He said he wants you to be a spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. So God says that he wants you to allow people to come to you when they are in the situation that you were in and to give them guidance on how to get out of that situation. But don't you turn to somebody that's doing that and start taking advice from them and start learning how to be a player all over again. God said no today. You finished with that. That's over. That's done. That chapter is closed. God says, I will make, 
make you a wall to this people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue you and save you. God is saying that even if they continue trying to come at you, even if they continue trying to attack you, they are not going to be able to do what they want to do to you because God is standing there in front of you. Nothing can catch you. Nothing can hit you. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing is going to cause you anything. God says he will save you from the hands of the wicked and deliver you from the grasp of the cruel. And that's the message, okay? Put that player's hat away, okay? Put the player's car in the trash and repent and repent and repent and repent. And God will save you from the grasp of, of, of your thoughts, okay? <laughs> oh, God is, okay. That's, that's it. You cannot tell me God does not have a sense of humor or that God does not know his children. Because he do. Okay, he knows y'all lingo. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to watch. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>